Hi everybody, I know it's April and it's still cold in New Jersey. I don't know what is up with this winter, it wants to drag on forever. Anyway, we've got lots of unboxing today for you. Well, by lots, I mean some. <laughs> I've got these two boxes. And one more. And my knife. And there it is, folks. In the flesh, second generation light beam AC. And to solidify this, Here's the second one. <laughs> the same thing, light beam AC. So it's only prudent if we open one of these boxes. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open up this light beam AC generation 2 box and let's see how it looks like inside the packaging and the whole nine yards so the factory seal needs to be broken right here all right so it's five gigahertz it's capable of 450 megabits throughput second generation Oh, this packaging seems awfully nice inside. I'm not sure if you can see this, but it is quite something. And start taking pieces out. Here we have one of the mounts for the pole, I suppose. Another part that has level on it, which is pretty cool. Another piece, which I'm pretty sure goes in here. Yes, it does. It slides ever so barely in, so when this is tied together, this doesn't move. It's like, yeah, this is not going to move anywhere. It's pretty. Pretty tight fit there. We have some long screws and interesting design. And they're painted white to match, I suppose. We have power. We have PoE adapter. Again, this PoE comes with The mounting itself, there we have it. PoE LAN, it's 24 volt. Okay, we have the pole mount hardware. And here we go. The main part of the assembly. It's the PoE input, the reset button. And that's it, really. You just apply power to it, and it's supposed to come on by itself. Now on the bottom piece, <laughs> as you can see, right here, or should I put it next to my head? <laughs> it is not huge. Welcome everybody. I have a delivery here that came in yesterday and we are going to unbox it. I have my trusty knife for the box and we're gonna open it and we're gonna see what's inside and then open the box inside as well.
ISO station M5, which is 5 gigahertz and 100 megabits per second capabilities. So it works only in 5 gigahertz range. It is one of the cheapest of their devices. And this is still in beta. There we have it. Looks beautiful. As you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. It's not really big. I can pick it up easily with one hand. It weighs a um, couple of pounds. This shroud is designed to shoot out a signal at 45 degrees. They have different types of shrouds. They have 60 degrees and 90 degrees, but this one is 45 degrees. Okay, so let's try to take the shroud off and it comes off really easy. I have to say it feels really good in the hand. It's well built. Okay, that's how it looks inside. See the rubber piece for the cable? Nicely done. POE uh, port. This foam comes off. And there's even a level included in this station itself. <laughs> nice touch. Now, I'm not going to pop the insides open because this is brand new and I don't want to avoid the war warranty. So, there we go. It clicks in nicely. What else is in the box? It is um, the guide. Nicely presented and done. It folds nicely. We have a power cord naturally. A PoE injector. I believe this is 24 volt. There we go. It was snug there. It's small. It feels small. The LED indicator, I guess. So let's read what it says. 24 volt, 1.3 amps. Okay. Oh, it says 24 volt right there. I am not sure if this has PoE pass-through or not. I will have to check the website for that. But you see how hard that clicks, that really is going to hold it in place, feels. Uh, you have to apply a decent amount of pressure to take it off. No, actually no. I'm only, I remember I just saw one port on this thing, so there's no PoE pass through. That's for sure. Okay, so we show that. And we have... Uh, bracket for the pole mount. That's it. That's all there is in the box, really. It is simple. It is to the point. It is the ISO station M5. And if you live in an area where you have shoddy signal and you can't get anything better because your ISPs are trying to milk you dry and they don't care about you, these things, I know people who have used them over water for, you know how small they are? Well, people have actually done like 20 mile runs with these things, although signal quality degrades heavily at that distance. I mean, this is not designed for 20 miles, but it can be connected. <laughs> uh, and they are so cheap, I am not even going to tell you how much I paid, uh, considering what they are and how far of a distance you can connect these at. And they run on new Air OS 8 because th these are new. Uh, devices, AC device version, second version, that are still in beta. If you go to UVNT site, which we will do, we can look at the specs of this and see more about the product itself. But this is ISO station M5.
from Ubiquity and in a second I will show you the ISO station AC boxes that I've got so I've got quite a I've got my supply ready for those that need work here in Northeast so if you need a wireless bridge set up let me know and uh, I will be happy to help you out ISO station ACs now I've just opened uh, ISO station M5 which is the exact same design as this so I'm going to skip opening this and I'm going to add this to the M5 video because the box is the same size everything inside is, is the same with the exception of what's really concealed in the shroud of the ISO station itself now these ISO stations have better throughput uh, better range uh, they go up to 450 megabits I know people who have them connecting over 20 miles range although they're really not great at that range it can be done uh, these are awesome awesome for rural areas where, where you need to deploy uh, a signal from the main line to your house if you have no choice if the ISPs are completely abandoning you so these stations are great for that next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go online and take a look at all of our ubiquity stuff the AP light the light beam AC generation 2 the ISO stations and the ISO stations M5 all the gear that I've received from ubiquity that's been available for a little while on the beta channel and I've been able to to grab some of that the bottom line if anybody needs long-distance Wi-Fi set up from you know the main line from your business to your house if you have a clean clear line of sight but your ISPs are choking you they don't want to give you they're not bringing the fast internet in your area and there's a main line coming through someplace and or you can steal it from or your business or someplace you could actually do this I know people who have done this over many miles of clear sight and they are getting more than decent throughput uh, there's lots of hills in New Jersey I'm thinking where they don't necessarily have the best ISPs and even in the rural areas around here and there's some uh, cases where we you can't run cables so if you need a deployment like this I'd be more than happy to help you out and set it up for you as a wireless backbone between your main site and whatever the offsite is so thanks a lot for watching this video I'll pack this back up and we'll take a look at the ubiquity itself on the site and here we are on ubiquity page let's go over to the operator now we can take a look at ISO station and uh, light beam versions what strikes me about these ISO stations is their modular design is that you can deploy 90 degrees uh, 60 degrees and 45 degrees and 30 degrees versions of the stations themselves. Okay, the beam performance um, is self-explanatory. They've designed it depending on the angle that they send the beam out. And these can be deployed in several different ways. Um, most likely these will be used either point to point or point to multipoint. These are really for primarily for WISPs and then for anybody who really needs them because you can uh, serve a large customer base with you know these tiny devices they're actually quite amazing and uh, there's a lot of talk about their new AROS software that's out at the same time that these came out and it's available now on uh, Android and iOS let me just take a quick peek at the other product 
that we have and that is the light we may see. I have to say the pricing was amazing on the beta channel and really really hard to beat that. <laughs> Okay, so we have a new AROS 8 area view, like we said. These are high gain directional 2x2. And the size was really compact. <laughs> I can't complain. It's, it's pretty small, pretty amazing. So the uh, throughput is 450 uh, megabits per second, which is awesome. And I'm going to take a look at the data sheet really fast, and then we're going to be done. There we go. This is probably one of the best explanations of how these will be used by WISPs, which is point to multipoint. Both ISO stations and light beams, you know, can be used as point to multipoint, which means you can flood an area with signal. Well, especially ISO stations because of the wide variety of angles that you can send a signal to. Naturally, the more narrow signal, uh, uh, the longer the distance you can do. But if you spread it out, let's say, over 90 degrees, uh, the more coverage you get over the area. So it depends on the use case that you want to use these at. Uh, that's why I got 45 degrees antennas, partly because well, it's the middle of the road, and uh, for what I do, it's completely sufficient, uh, you know, angle base, and it covers still a huge amount of area. And then the second one is point to multipoint. And of course, in rare cases, if you really must, <laughs> you can be, you can use these as a, as a wireless client as well. <laughs> I mean, if you had to, you could do that. But in most cases, it's going to be point to point or point to multi point. This is um, if you live in Australia or really someplace. <laughs> if you travel a lot, I would carry one of these with me. And then, of course, they talk about the features, enhancements, etc., etc. The bottom line is uh, the app itself. I mean, it offers a ton of flexibility, and there's no other manufacturer of these WISP products. Uh, and really, uh, not only WISPs, but anybody can get their hands on it if they wanted to. That does anything like this, that has simplified deployment to this extent. So, I really have to take my head off to them for this. It is quite a feat. Congratulations, you have made it quite something. Long story short, this second generation promises to be quite something increasing performance by a wide mar margin for fraction of the cost of the previous generation. So thank you Ubiquiti for this amazing opportunity and uh, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to get my hands off on ISO stations and uh, Lightbeam Macy's. And thank you guys for looking at this with me and uh, if you know anybody in New Jersey that needs these, let me know. Have a great day. Bye.